All right, this week's word of the week is going to be vertical up, which is basically a position that welding is done. On a scale of one to 10, one not being a big deal, 10 being a really big deal, if you don't know what vertical up is, it's probably about a, a nine, maybe a 9.5, I don't know, somewhere around there. It's pretty important that you know what vertical up is. Now there's two different types of vertical welding, vertical up and vertical down. We're gonna discuss uh, vertical up for now, and then we're gonna go to down here in a little bit. But uh, vertical up, some fun facts I guess you could say, has a designation of 3F and 3G. That means it's a vertical fillet or a vertical uh, groove weld, depending on what you're actually welding. So it's 3F or 3G is the designation that you're going to use. Typically gets a weave if you're going up, not always. Uh, when you start stick welding and you do uh, flat horizontal, you really don't need to weave it a lot, it wets itself out with vertical. Uh, it's a lot easier to weave it, so people tend to weave it, all right? So uh, this is when you need to start manipulating, like, stick welding, all right? Um, people do it TIG and MIG as well if they're going up. MIG for sure. TIG, they tend to walk the cup, though. And when you're learning how to weld, we try to keep them from doing that because it leaves little scratches on the sides, and you can't always do that. So we want them to go vertical up with TIG welding without using an actual walking the cup uh, technique. It's a difficult position. It's one of the most difficult positions um, you're going to do with plate welding. It's uh, where it really gets hairy if you're starting out. You know, the flat horizontal, okay, then you get the vertical and you can really have a disaster. So it's a very difficult position. Undercut is a uh, weld discontinuity that happens a lot with uh, vertical up because they're, as they're weaving, they're not holding their edges and it cuts into the sides. So you tend to get a lot of undercuts. So you got to watch that when you're uh, learning how to do vertical ups. Uh, flux runs down. So this is one of the reasons that you can't use like uh, a 7018 to go vertical down because the flux is too thick. It's going to run in front of the puddle and it's just going to look like you know, a disaster. So you can't run vertical down with an uh, electrode like 7018. So you got to be careful with stick welding. Sometimes you can only go up. Again, flux core, same thing. If you've got flux running around or running down in front of the weld, that's bad. If you're going to run over get slime inclusions and things like that. They do make electrodes that are for vertical down for stick welding. You just have to look at the actual designations there. So that's what the 7018 means, right? So number uh, the one in 7018 is the position. It's all positions, right? But you have to go vertical up. Um, one of the main discontinuities you can get as far as what the bead looks like is a high ropey bead. I don't think ropey is a real word, but uh, it's commonly used in the welding world. Uh, so you get a high ropey bead and that's because it doesn't, the, the weld wants to fall down in the center of the actual weld, so it gets high in the middle. That's where this weave comes in, you hold the sides and you make the weld come over to the side. That's why a lot of people weave with vertical up, to get rid of that high ropey bead. This is the main reason that you do vertical up. I'm going to circle this one right here. Better penetration. This is why uh, D1.1 and other codes call out you have to do vertical up, because it gets better penetration. It is digging in there when you're going vertical up. That is the main reason that you have to go vertical up if you have to indeed go vertical up, depending on what you're doing. Uh, D1.1, I looked up real quick. I was thinking that uh, vertical pre-qualifies you for horizontal and flat, but it does not. So I just threw that in here as a, as a fact. D1.1, 3F, and 3G, if you get certified in that, that's for vertical only. So it doesn't pre-certify you for uh, 2F, 1F, or 2G, 1G, if that makes sense. Sometimes you have... Um, Positions that will pre, like if you do a 6G, it certifies you for everything. That's a pipe welding uh, cert. So we're not going to get into that, but this does not pre qualify you for a flat horizontal. I actually looked it up in the structural steel welding code book, so I thought it did for some reason, but it doesn't. So, okay, so now vertical up, vertical down, question mark. A lot of people want to go down. Why? Right here, it's easy. It's very easy to go vertical down, especially with a MIG welder. So people want to go vertical down because it's easier, right? Everybody wants to do something that's easy, right? Well, the problem with that is, if you go here, bad, question mark, low penetration. So people don't go vertical down because of lack of penetration. The vertical up has a lot better penetration. That's why it's called out. Vertical down has less penetration. That's why people don't do it. Obviously, you would uh, rather do something that's easy, right? Because it's easier. But if you can't, you can't, especially when you look over here. Uh, flux. Sometimes you just can't. It's not possible. It's not possible. So you have to go uh, vertical up. But people want to do vertical down because it's easy. All right. Um, flow is nice. You can 
get in a nice vertical dial joint and just weave it right down and it wets right in the edges and it looks good. So the good looking beads, right? Good looking beads aren't always the answer, right? They have to be acceptable or not acceptable. Good looking beads are great, but if it's not acceptable because lack of fusion, right? See what happens is when you're going down, that, that MIG weld, it's usually with MIG weld, it can roll over the edges and not actually blend in. It can you lack of fusion, which is dangerous, right? So uh, you gotta be careful. So just because it looks good, that's why we do destructive testing, right? It looks great, then you hit it with a hammer and it flies across the room. That's not good, right? So for a vertical down, it's easy, flows nice, good looking beads. The problem is if you got flux, right? It's gonna roll in front of the bead. Low penetration, so it doesn't penetrate as well as vertical up. And then you can get lack of fusion, which is extremely dangerous uh, well discontinuity. And you don't even know it because it, it'll actually look like it's actually a good bead. And then it's not actually wetted into the side. It's not actually fused, it's just roll over. So you gotta be careful with that, so. If you don't know what vertical up is, now you do. It's extremely important. One of the more difficult uh, positions. So you get certified in, you're gonna get more money, right? Because it was harder to get certified in. It's a difficult position. So hopefully that clears up what vertical up is, why you use vertical up, and, and versus why you don't use vertical down. Uh, thanks for watching, subscribe to TV Weld, and we're gonna get out of here.